X-ray of the chest is a very important diagnostic tool in presence of chest injury. The various pathologies that may be seen on chest X-ray are fractures of the ribs, associated pneumothorax, subcutaneous emphysema, hemothorax and lung contusion. This X-ray shows multiple fractures of ribs on the left side. When a rib fracture is suspected, each rib should be individually traced from its posterior end to the costochondral junction anteriorly. Any break in continuity of its border should be studied with suspicion. Here, the second and third ribs are fractured and you can see subcutaneous emphysema or air in the subcutaneous tissues over the chest wall shown by the vertical arrow. This x-ray shows fractures of the 10th and 11th ribs on the right side. This x-ray taken in lying down position after a chest injury shows opacification of the right lung with obliteration of the costophrenic angle. Either a hemothorax or a lung contusion may result in opacification of the lung. Uniform opacification of the whole side, more in the costophrenic angle, suggests a hemothorax. While in standing position, this would give a shadow akin to a pleural effusion. This x-ray shows surgical emphysema, which results from a pleural tear secondary to rib fracture and leakage of air into the subcutaneous tissues. Note the fibers of pectoralis major that are so clearly lined by the air and the air in the subcutaneous space surrounding the chest wall. A careful inspection shows a small pneumothorax and border of the partially collapsed lung. This x-ray shows multiple fractures of the ribs. The 7th, 8th and 9th ribs are seen to be fractured. This x-ray shows fracture of the right 3rd and 4th ribs with subcutaneous emphysema that is air in the subcutaneous space. So whenever you see an x-ray of chest injury with rib fractures, also look for pneumothorax, subcutaneous emphysema and pleural fluid collection.